the journalist Olivier Dubois has been freed from captivity in Mali. He's now in neighbouring Niger. Dubois was abducted by Al-Qaeda-linked militants in the north of Mali in April 2021. He'd been working as a freelance journalist in the country since 2015. Now, the precise circumstances of his release are not yet clear. But to talk a bit about what we do know, our French politics editor, Mark Perelman, is with me. And Mark, first of all, just remind us who Olivier Dubois is and what happened to him. Well, he uh, was, still is, uh, and that's the good news today, uh, a journalist. Uh, he was freelancing for several French publications uh, in Mali, and uh, nearly two years ago, it was really in, at the beginning of April 2021, he traveled to the northern city of Gao in Mali, an area where uh, jihadist groups and other uh, drug traffickers and so on are uh, very active. Uh, he had a meeting uh, with uh, a member of uh, a jihadist group, and uh, he then disappeared. And there was very little news uh, from him. There was a couple of uh, indications that he was still alive, a video, some uh, of uh, those who had him uh, in captivity were saying, yes, that he's in good health. And for months, uh, including on, on France 24, we've had messages uh, from his parents, uh, from his wife uh, saying, you know, uh, please hang on, uh, we're there with you, uh, and make sure, uh, you know, you don't uh, stop believing that you will eventually uh, be free and reunited uh, with us. Uh, obviously, this is always a difficult uh, situation because uh, obviously uh, the official uh, stance is that there are no negotiations uh, with hostage takers, uh, but clearly uh, there have been uh, some uh, talks uh, by intermediary. Uh, there have been past instances of French hostages being freed in the uh, Sahel uh, region. Uh, what's interesting is that he is in Niamey, the capital of uh, neighboring uh, Niger. Uh, I've been told that the uh, president of Niger uh, has been directly involved in those uh, negotiations. Uh, he is not uh, right now in Niger, the president, because he's traveling uh, in Togo, and this is why uh, Olivier Dubois uh, has essentially been welcomed by that country's interior minister, who just issued a statement saying, yes, Olivier Dubois is free and he's in Niger. Well, it's interesting what you're saying there about negotiations because we're just getting an alert here from the Reuters Newswire. This is, this quote's an official. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us which country this official comes from, but it says there was no direct negotiation with the militant organisation, no ransom um, paid. Right. Uh, this means there were indirect mm. negotiations because, yes, there have been, as, as I said, it's not the first time uh, a French or a Western hostage uh, uh, was taken in that region. And uh, there are clearly some intermediaries uh, playing uh, a role of go-between. Yes, uh, so it offers deniability uh, to the French or the other Western governments saying we don't negotiate uh, with hostage shakers, with terrorist groups, uh, because this is only uh, rewarding them, especially uh, with financial means that they might use uh, to carry out attacks or further kidnappings. Uh, but uh, clearly, uh, he has not been freed uh, just like this. Uh, there were some go-betweens. And Niger, uh, I vividly remember uh, former French hostage, Serge Lazarevich, being freed uh, in Niger. The French authorities went in Niamey with the then president, uh, Mamadou Issoufou, uh, back in 2014. And there were images of the French officials thanking uh, Niger uh, for its role, uh, we can uh, safely assume that this will be uh, the case again. My understanding is that the authorities from Niger have been directly uh, involved in negotiating uh, this, uh, and uh, it took nearly two years to free uh, Olivier Dubois, but this is obviously mm. great news for him. Uh, for the French uh, government, will probably uh, maybe even hear uh, from the French authorities, and why not from Emmanuel Macron? Uh, people were waiting for him to speak about the very controversial pension system reform. Well, he might uh, speak to uh, bring uh, the good news uh, to the French people. It's the last known French hostage right now in the world. Yeah, and I just want to clarify something um, based on the information we were getting from the newswires, um, and then we'll let you do some research, figure out what's been going on as well, Mark, because we're hearing as well a US citizen um, has been freed at the same time and it is in fact uh, the US that 
that's saying um, that no direct negotiations was done to release their national right. at this point. Uh, but you might have noticed that the uh, Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, was in Niger just a couple of days ago. Mm. Uh, might not be a total coincidence uh, because uh, France and the United States uh, are both present militarily in uh, Niger. Uh, the French have been kicked out of Mali, are being kicked out from uh, Burkina Faso. Uh, so they've essentially uh, put all their military assets in Niger. The U.S. has been present uh, in Niger uh, for a while. Uh, so if indeed another hostage, uh, U.S. hostage, uh, has been freed, uh, we can safely assume that they were part of this uh, similar uh, negotiations. Uh, yes, Washington and Paris are going to say we're not negotiating, but uh, those hostages were not just freed uh, by accident. Uh, they were freed because there were uh, some negotiations. Maybe they didn't involve uh, financial uh, means, but sometimes you can extract some concession. A neighboring country might free a prisoner uh, that the group wants to see freed, and so on and so forth. So there are many ways to negotiate, uh, even if you say you don't negotiate directly. Mark Perelman, thank you very much indeed for your analysis on this breaking news story. That U.S. individual who's been freed alongside Olivia Dubois is Jeffrey Woodique. Uh, more on both of those releases when we get it.